Russian air defenses can effectively intercept long-range missiles, experts polled by Izvestia Daily said. They can be downed by S-300 and S-400 long-range surface-to-air missile systems during their flight and by S-350, Tor and Panzer air defense systems in their final flight path. However, Russia's Smolensk, Kaluga, Lipetsk, Voronezh, and Kursk regions, as well as Crimea and the Krasnodar region, can be exposed to the use of weapons with a range of 300 km by Ukraine, experts warn. Commenting on a potential zone of destruction, former Lt. Gen. Atek Bizov, who previously served as Deputy Commander-in-Chief of the Joint CIS Air Defense System, told Izvestia that if fired from the Kiev-controlled area of Kherson, an Atikms missile can hit Kerch on the Crimean Peninsula, which would pose a threat to the Crimean Bridge. Missiles fired from the Zaporozhye region can target all of Crimea. The bordering zone of Kursk will also be exposed, he added, as well as Voronezh in central Russia and other major cities and areas. But it is important to mention here that we have destroyed both Storm Shadows and Atikms missiles, and there have been no unsolvable issues with downing those, the expert said with confidence. Military expert Viktor Litovkin agrees. In an interview with Rossiyskaya Gazeta, he said that such missiles have long been used in the Special Military Operation Zone, and Russian air defense systems have been able to detect and counter them effectively. In general, these Western-provided long-range missiles are far from new, as they were first tested in 1988, and in 1991 they were used for the first time during Operation Desert Storm, Litovkin explained. Hence, we know what we are dealing with. All our anti-missile systems, from Panzers to S-400s, can down Atikms. At the same time, massive or coordinated missile strikes can be especially dangerous, he warned. The expert suggested that, among other reasons, Ukraine has lately intensified drone attacks on Russian territory to conduct training before launching Atikms. He views the British-French Storm Shadow slash Scalp missiles as much more dangerous, as they can fly at ultra-low altitudes, and the missile body is made of radio-absorbing materials, which reduces the likelihood of their detection. However, even though these missiles have a longer range of around 560 kilometers, Russian air defense systems have learned to counter them, too, he concluded. Crews have been battling a wildfire in Hainesport, in southern New Jersey, on Monday night. The New Jersey Forest Fire Service reported that approximately 20 structures have been threatened as crews work to contain the blaze. We don't expect the fire to grow much beyond 40 to 45 acres. At this time, no structures have been damaged, said Bill Donnelly from the New Jersey Forest Fire Service. Donnelly said on Monday night that there had been no evacuations or injuries. He also said he cause of the fire was under investigation. Right now we have roughly 40 acres of wildland involved. Um, our folks received a call from Burlington County Central a couple hours ago um, with the Haynesport Fire Department requesting some assistance out here for a wildland fire they have here in this area. So currently we have um, approximately 20 structures threatened. Uh, crews are in the process of trying to contain the fire. They're doing so by means of using uh, a bulldozer and using some natural barriers as you see here this asphalt and stuff like that so we have approximately 20 firefighters six of our engines and numerous uh, engines from our partners the local fire departments here throughout the county so currently uh, we don't anticipate the fire to grow much more than uh, somewhere in that area between 40 and 45 acres and um, at this time there have been no structures damaged uh, we do have a couple road closures Yeah, I, that's the first thing I noticed as well. It's a noble line 
Like, I thought I snorted upstairs. I was getting changed. I'm like... Um, there have been no evacuations. No one has been injured. And the cause of the fire is under investigation. Okay. Right now, some of the challenges we're facing is just hard access. This area here has got a lot of ups and downs, if you will. It's got some sand pits in it. It's behind homes, which is always a challenge. Um, you know, going right in the back of people's houses, getting our equipment in there. Um, and just obstacles that you're not familiar with when you're running around in people's yards. This fire is going to continue to smolder. Uh, fortunately, it looks like we have rain in the forecast coming Wednesday night and Thursday. That's what it's going to take to put this fire out. Very scary. Um, I just never would thought this would ever happen. We've lived here for 20 years and we've been very fortunate to not have any sort of fires in our backyard. So they're doing a fantastic job controlling it.